did you know that the average person checks their phone 96 times a day? Imagine how much productivity is lost in those distractions. We get sucked into the notification vortex, scrolling endlessly through social media, and before we know it, hours have vanished. Welcome back to Don't Do This Guide, where we help you uncover the sneaky productivity killers that might be sabotaging your day. We all have the same 24 hours, but some people seem to squeeze so much more out of their day. What's the secret? Often it's about identifying and eliminating the things that hold us back. Stick around to learn how to identify and eliminate these hidden distractions. If you find any value in our content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. All right, let's talk about the elephant in the room, or should I say the phone in our pockets. We're all guilty of it, that constant urge to check our phones, even when we know there's nothing important waiting for us. It's like a phantom limb, always there, subtly pulling our attention away from the task at hand. Think about it, how many times have you been in the zone, laser focused on your work, only to be interrupted by a notification ding? Your focus shatters, and it takes precious minutes to get back in the groove. That, my friends, is the phone phantom at work. But here's the good news, we can fight back. One powerful strategy is to create phone-free zones. Designate specific times and places where your phone is off limits. This could be during your peak work hours, family dinners, or even just an hour before bed. Another tip is to turn off those pesky notifications. Do you really need to know every time someone likes your Instagram post? Probably not. Silence those distractions and reclaim your focus. If you're feeling really bold, try leaving your phone in another room altogether. It sounds drastic, but the freedom you'll experience from being truly present in the moment is invaluable. The key is to be mindful of your phone usage. Start by tracking how often you check it. Once you're aware of the problem, you can start implementing strategies to regain control and break free from the phone phantom's grasp. We live in a world that glorifies multitasking. We wear it like a badge of honor, juggling multiple tasks at once, convinced that we're getting more done. But here's the truth. Multitasking is a myth. Our brains simply aren't wired to focus on multiple complex tasks simultaneously. Think of your brain like a computer. When you multitask, you're essentially asking your computer to run multiple demanding programs at the same time. The result? Everything slows down, errors occur, and you end up feeling drained. Instead of trying to do everything at once, embrace the power of single tasking. Choose one task, give it your undivided attention, and see it through to completion before moving on to the next. Start by creating a prioritized to-do list. When you're working on a task, eliminate distractions. Remember, true productivity isn't about doing more things, it's about doing the right things well. Email. It's the digital beast that never sleeps, constantly bombarding our inboxes with messages, both important and trivial. We feel obligated to respond immediately, letting it dictate our day and pull us away from more meaningful work. But it doesn't have to be this way. One effective strategy is to schedule dedicated email time. Instead of checking your inbox sporadically throughout the day, set aside specific blocks of time to process your emails. This could be twice a day, once in the morning and once in the afternoon. During these designated email times, practice the touch it once rule. When you open an email, decide what action needs to be taken and then take it immediately. Respond, delete, delegate, or file it away. Another helpful tip is to unsubscribe from unnecessary newsletters and promotional emails. By implementing these strategies, you can tame the email beast and free up valuable time and mental energy for what truly matters. Chapter 4. The Open Office Distraction Open offices were all the rage, promising collaboration and creativity. But let's be honest, they can be a productivity nightmare. Constant chatter, ringing phones, and the alluring temptation to socialize can make it nearly impossible to concentrate. But don't despair. There are ways to stay focused amidst the chaos. Noise-canceling headphones are your best friend. Invest in a good pair and create a personal sound oasis. Whether you prefer calming ambient music, nature sounds, or simply silence, blocking out auditory distractions can work wonders for your focus. If possible, create visual boundaries. This could be as simple as using a room divider or positioning your desk to face a wall. Even small visual cues can signal to others that you're in deep work mode and minimize interruptions. Schedule dedicated focus time. 
Remember, even in an open office environment, you can create pockets of focus and productivity. Chapter 5. Social Media Spiral Ah, social media, the ultimate double-edged sword. It connects us with friends and family, provides endless entertainment, and keeps us informed about the world. But it can also be a bottomless pit of distractions, sucking us into a vortex of scrolling and comparison. We've all been there. You open Instagram to check a message, and suddenly, an hour has vanished. You've fallen down the rabbit hole of endless scrolling, feeling a strange mix of envy, inadequacy, and a nagging sense that you should be doing something more productive. But here's the good news. You can break free from the social media spiral. One powerful strategy is to set time limits. Most smartphones have built-in features that allow you to set daily usage limits for specific apps. Once you've reached your limit, the app will lock you out, gently reminding you to reclaim your time. Another tip is to be mindful of your triggers. By setting boundaries and being intentional with your usage, you can enjoy the benefits of these platforms without letting them control your time and attention. Chapter 6. The Perfectionism Trap Striving for excellence is admirable, but perfectionism is a productivity killer. It's the voice in our heads that whispers, it's not good enough, you need to do more, or what if it's not perfect? This relentless pursuit of an unattainable standard can paralyze us, leading to procrastination, self-doubt, and missed opportunities. The key to overcoming perfectionism is to embrace the concept of good enough. This doesn't mean settling for mediocrity, it means recognizing that done is better than perfect. Often the fear of failure or judgment prevents us from taking action and putting our work out into the world. Start by shifting your mindset. Instead of aiming for perfection, focus on progress. Celebrate small wins along the way and view mistakes as opportunities for growth and learning. Remember, everyone makes mistakes. It's how we learn and improve. Another helpful tip is to set realistic deadlines. By embracing imperfection, focusing on progress and celebrating our accomplishments along the way, we can break free from the perfectionism trap and unlock our true potential. Chapter 7. Unplanned meetings. Meetings. They're an essential part of many jobs, but they can also be major productivity killers, especially when they pop up unexpectedly and disrupt our carefully planned schedules. Suddenly, we're pulled away from deep work, throwing our focus and momentum off track. But here's the good news. We can regain control of our calendars and minimize the disruption caused by unplanned meetings. One effective strategy is to establish clear boundaries. Block off specific times in your calendar for focused work and communicate these boundaries to your colleagues. Let them know that during these times you're unavailable for impromptu meetings. If an unplanned meeting does arise, don't be afraid to politely inquire about the purpose and urgency. Is it something that can be handled in an email or a quick phone call? Can it wait until your next scheduled meeting? By setting boundaries, communicating effectively, and being mindful of meeting etiquette, you can minimize the disruption caused by unplanned meetings and reclaim control of your workday. Chapter 8. Cluttered Workspace Our physical environment has a profound impact on our mental state and productivity. A cluttered workspace can lead to feelings of overwhelm, stress and distraction, making it difficult to focus and get things done. Think about it. When your desk is covered in piles of paper, sticky notes and random objects, it's easy for your mind to feel just as cluttered and chaotic. You waste precious time searching for things, your attention is constantly being pulled in different directions, and it's difficult to relax and find a sense of calm. The good news is that decluttering your workspace can have a transformative effect on your productivity and overall well-being. Start by clearing the clutter. Get rid of anything you don't need, use or love. This includes old papers, broken pens and those random knickknacks that have accumulated over time. Once you've decluttered, create a system of organization that works for you. By taking the time to declutter and create a sense of order in your physical environment, you'll be amazed at the positive impact it can have on your productivity and overall well-being. Now that you're aware of these sneaky productivity killers, it's time to take action. Implement these tips and watch your productivity soar. Remember, you don't have to tackle everything at once. Start by identifying the biggest productivity killer in your own life. What's the one thing that consistently throws you off track? Once you've pinpointed the culprit, 
Choose one strategy from this video to address it. Small changes can make a big difference. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Don't Do This Guide for more tips on living a better life. Thanks for watching. Stay productive and see you in the next video.